Hi everyone, Trina here again, and I'm so, so excited. Today I have the first of a few videos that I'm going to be recording of all the wonderful, wonderful Tim Holtz stuff that I recently got. So another haul video. That's Hartley saying good morning. Um, most of this stuff is from the brand new 2021 line, but I did purchase a few other items that aren't 2021, but they're new to me. So, we are just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to make several videos because I want to take the time to kind of go through some of the things in detail. So, I guess we will go ahead and get started. Alright, so... Here are some new papers in the 2020 line, and these are called backdrops. So I have volume one and volume two here. I'm very excited about these. I love the Tim Holtz wallpapers and all those types of papers. So let's just do a quick little flip through of these. I know that, you know, when you go to the store to buy them, you can look at the design there, the designs, but I think that a closer up of them is more helpful. Please don't do that yet, babe. And you just kind of ripped it open a little incorrectly, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. All right, so this one is volume one. All right, so here we go. Now, I know that sometimes I have my camera a little too close, but I like you guys to be able to see these close up. So this is first side of that one. And then that's just a nice little damask-like pattern. Oh, a map of London. Nice. Look at that detail, you guys. It's so good. And then the other side, it looks like the top of a ledger page. Oh, and book end paper. I have no idea, but pretty neat. That looks like it's from the cover of a book, right? Day book. And the other side, a receipt, maybe? I love how these are like such large scale. Those are wonderful. Oh my gosh, you guys. Floors, flowers. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Isn't that wonderful? It's gorgeous. All right, another ledger page. Oh, and by the way, these are 6 by 10 inch pages, and they are not, they're like a light cardstock. Yeah, they are. Oh, look at that cracked paint. Isn't that wonderful? Where'd you go, Hartley? Yeah. Okay. Another ledger page, or receipt, maybe. Oh, or telegram. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, look at that. Another book page cover. Not book page cover. Hello, book cover. Mm-hmm. Nice. Another receipt, it looks like, or invoice. Uh, it has an old stamp on there. Oh, a giant library card. Wish I could see a year on there instead of just the days. Still cool. Look at that. Looks like an old something that was repainted and then the paint's peeling off. Stained paper, maybe? That's what that looks like to me. And class roll book. Oh, look at that. An advertisement. That's cool. Oh my, look at these flowers, Hartley. Aren't those beautiful? Yeah. Like those? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Alright. Well, they don't smell, baby. <laughs> Alright. Looks like some stained wallpaper or something. And boots and shoes. I need to hold it. What, babe? I need to hold it. Oh, that's a letter now. It's a letter now. Here, you can hold it and look at it. Some old uh, school ruled paper. Looks like for elementary school, right? Because it has the dotted lines in there. Oh, look at that. Letters. 
That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Oh, what is this? Uh, bottom of a cigar box? Top of a cigar box? No, I think it's a no, bottom. No. Yep, it I says think... quality cigar. It's a bingo card. You think that's a bingo card? Yeah. So a game card of sorts? Oh, an old pattern. Oh my, this is my license. Yeah. Oh, and that's really neat because you can see, you know, that um, paper that they use for patterns is really thin tissue. So you can actually see through it. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Little brown flowers. Neat. Bye. Oh, another bookend page. That's neat. Oh, what is this? Looks like advertisement or something or a catalog. Like out of a catalog. Um, hmm. Looks like this might be from a third grade book. Let me have it, baby, if you're done. Done. It looks like an old wallpaper pattern. Oops. All right. I don't know what this is, but pretty cool. Oops. Is it in volume two? Uh, December 14th, 1883. That's neat. And this. Oh, look at the butterflies. So pretty. many butterflies. Flip it over. Flip it Hold on, over. baby. I like to show the whole page as best I can. And the other side, oh, that looks like those brown flowers that we had, but this time in green. Neat. Not sure what this is. Looks like a maybe an agenda itinerary or something, right? Hmm. Not sure. That looks like another... Um, end pages or you know more bookend papers mm -hmm. oh. must be from a school book or something huh. away nor let me loiter in my song fare thee well and if forever all right <clears throat> Um, that just looks like a roughed up outside of a book, maybe. I don't really know. Distressed, anyway. Another part of a map here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Gothic arcade. Look at that architecture design. That's cool. It's really neat. And the other side. Oh, another map. No, Hartley, that's not what we're doing, baby. You don't need to show your unicorn poop on camera. Well, now that I've said unicorn poop, maybe you should. And then there's this. Looks like a report card, huh? Yep. Yeah. Or math. Uh, Wakeman? Gertrude Wakeman? Yeah. All right, so that is volume one. Go ahead and show your unicorn poop real quick. Can you guys smell it through this video? <clears throat> All right, you have to hold it still because it's very blurry. All right. Mm -hmm. Open your hand. Uh, glittery. Glittery. Alright, go ahead. Move it. Can you smell it? Move it. it smells really good, if you can imagine. But yeah, I'm so. Alright, Hartley. So that is volume one. And volume two. The one I opened. Hartley me. decided to open it from the side instead of the way that it would normally be opened, but that's okay. We can deal with that. So here we go. Let's just see if we can go through this kind of quickly and then get to some more stuff that's pretty quick. I am mixing... Time. Hartley? I am matching and mixing the items that I bought from the different years just because some things I can go through more quickly than others. Hmm. More peeled paint. And something on the back side. Oh, look at that. That's really neat. Look at all those stamps on there. That's cool. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of a green color. Let me get in focus if I can. Put my hand in there and maybe it will focus. There we go. That's nice. More end papers for a book. Uh, look at that. That's nice. A little schematic. And this looks like another thing from like a catalog with the prices. Bet you couldn't get this for 95 cents anymore. And the other side from Boot and Shoe Manufacturers. Uh, let me hold these up again like I was doing. 
All right, another map. I like the colors in this one. <clears throat> oh, Lake Erie. Er Jeez. Lake Erie and Niagara River. I was looking at Erie and Niagara and combined them. All right. Okay. Oh, that's neat. An advertisement. More flowers. They look very similar to the other ones, maybe on a larger scale. I'm not sure, though. I'd have to hold them up side by side to compare. I just like the combination of colors and handwriting and dates and schematics. I mean, there's just... Ah, uh, look at that. Mushrooms. There's just so much in these two collections that are just wonderful. Yeah. And more end pages. I really like the idea of the end pages because I do have an idea of making a mini junk journal out of some other elements I'll be showing you later. Music paper. Another book cover here, it looks like. Come on, focus. Here's my hand. There we go. Ugh, look at that typewriter. Another map. Hartley, can you please get up, babe? Please. Thank you. Of Liverpool, it says. And let's get that flipped. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love the colors there. Nice. Looks like a passport or something. Okay. Ledger. Oh. Oh, what is this? Like a train ticket or something? Oh, cable. Oh, okay. It's a telegram. Nice. Hmm. Not sure what this is. Wonder if it's another Table. cigar box, but yep, might be the bottom of another cigar box. And that. All right. Oh, some more architecture. Ionic order. Wonder if this is part of that other one. I don't know. Though. More just maybe a distressed book cover. Oh, look at these flowers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Aren't those great? Yeah. Slate and blackboard exercises. Oh, it's math. I love math. Really? Look at that. All right. Some more of this. I don't know if it's exactly the same one. I don't think so, though. I think in the other one, 33 might have been up there. But I could be way wrong, because I don't know. And that... Silver medals awarded. Mm. All right, and this, and some wood grain, more book end pages, and some graph paper. Looks like it's seen better days. All right, focus. There we go. All right, some more of these flowers. That might be exactly the same. I'm not sure. Very similar, if not exactly the same. I do like the detail on here where it's kind of dirty or distressed. Watching clockwork. A clock is a machine. All right, constructed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, look at that Harrington spell book complete. Spelling book, if only I could read. Maybe I need to read that book. Some more flowers. Mm, looks like an outside cover of a book, maybe. Uh, gross, but cool. Oh, uh, look at that. A gradings, graded spelling book. That's pretty. And there is that. Alright, so those are the backdrops, volumes 1 and 2, and these are from the 2021 collection. So, I'm excited about those. Now, I'm going to just show you a couple things really quick that are not necessarily... I don't know when these are from. Um, they could be from any time. All right. Got some Tim Holtz scissors. Love these things. I haven't tried them out yet. Um, believe me, I don't have a shortage of scissors, but I happen to like scissors an awful lot. 
I probably have about 20 pairs. That's not to flex, just a fact. But I am very excited about trying out these Tim Holtz scissors. Look at that. I might try them out. All right. They're tonic Tim Holtz. And they're supposedly micro serrated. Um, and they have a very, very pointy tip, as you could see. Let's see if you can see. Look at that. So those might be really good for fussy cutting, doing some detail cutting. We're not going to use them yet, hardly. Please stop. Leave them. Oh, you wanted to squeeze them mm -hmm. to see how they squeeze? Yeah. That just makes me think that they'll be so much more comfortable. All right, can you put this pair of scissors away for me, please? All right, let me put that in the trash. All right, now, I have not seen these before, and I was so excited. I got these, um, there are, how many did I get? Seven of them, and they're really neat because they are stamp and stencil sets. So what's really neat about them is you can see that they took, from Stampers Anonymous for Tim Holtz, they took part of... A stamp line and a stencil but they put like two stencils together so here you can see in this picture isn't this um, snarky cat and you can actually see maybe a couple of the sayings but I'm pretty sure that snarky cat snarky. I don't think it's the full set but and then the really nice thing about these stencils is you get like two different stencils combined so you can try them out um, especially if you're a person like in mixed media or something where you only use little bits of a stencil anyway and you don't typically use a whole stencil. But what a great way to try out. This is like, in my mind, like a sampler pack, right? Like if you went to a restaurant or something and you got like a sampler appetizer. Yeah, that's what these are. They're like sampler appetizers. So anyway, I just think these are so neat. And then I got this one. Now you're going to see like a repeat of this in another one, but I'm okay with that. So let's flip it over so we can see what's in there. All right. So two different stencils there. And I cannot remember what line I've seen these in, but oh, I can't remember the names. And that's going to be the case for most of these. And the next one, Butterfly. Because when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing. There's that repeat, I believe. Maybe it's not exactly a repeat. It's on a different scale. And some numbers. It's all my perspective. Look at that. There we go. I love that. Well, I love that one too, but I love that. And what a nice pairing those are. I mean, really, it's just beautiful. And then, dun dun dun, we have this little guy here. Mm -hmm. This little guy. This little guy. And let's flip it over so we can see better what's here. All right, come on. All right. So we have these dots, and then we have the numbers down here. And then you can see what's included there. Again, just another sampler pack. So nice. And they have these marked as mixed media. So that's really kind of neat. Hope is never lost. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Broken alpha or typos or something. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Simple little chicken wire, maybe. Is that what that's called? Chicken wire? And those are just delicate little flowers. I like the silhouettes there. And then this one. Flip it over so you can see what it's in here and get focused. All right, a little cross hatch, little squares, and that looks like crackled something, crackle paste, crackle paint, nice floral design, and then that little looks like a coin or something, a little sentiment there, and some text. Oh, look at the little drippies. Mm -hmm. And the last one that I have of these is this one. Mushrooms, 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 toxic. All right, so here we go. So this is kind of nice because we have like two different kinds of walls, right? Like stone and block or brick. 
and then we have the mushrooms, the field label, little labels, more mushrooms, toxic. Yeah, those are nice. I really like those. All right. And then I think the last one for this video, because we're getting kind of long here, I'm just going to show you I picked up some alcohol pearls. So we have Celestial, Smolder, and Mineral. There are those. And then I finally, finally got some alloys that I'm excited about. So there we go. We have Gilded, Foundry, Mind, and Statue. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off because we're already at 20 minutes. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. Please continue to watch the rest of the videos in the series. I'm not sure how many there are going to be, but this is number one. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you like videos like this and would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Also click on notification bell down there. And when the pop-up comes up, make sure to select all so you don't miss any of the videos that I put out. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Bye!